Today we're engraving 25 new names on the Global War on Terrorism Memorial at the National Infantry Museum. These are the names of the soldiers, sailors, airmen, and marines who have given their lives in the Global War on Terrorism since we dedicated the memorial in October of 2017. It was right here. Jonathan Dunbar. Yes, sir. Jonathan J. Dunbar. Uh, we served together in Iraq in 2006. Um, he was my, my M240 machine gunner and during that deployment. He was definitely a go-to guy. You know, he was a joker. Um, but he was also serious about his job. Um, serious about the training of the men to ensure um, that they survived the next deployment. Um, as a man, he loving father. He, he loved his son. Um, he talks, talks about him all the time, um, which was one of his motivators of making sure we got back alive. Still hard to believe. I see his name up there. It's, 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 it's an honor to do it. I mean, it really is to be asked to do this, and I appreciate it. When we get through plucking all the uh, letters out of the stencil, we'll cover up all these stones and these soldiers so they don't get covered up with sand. And then we'll sandblast it, and engrave it, and then we'll clean it, paint it, and then pull all the stencils off of it and pray to the good Lord is right. On September 8th at 11 a.m., we'll have a ceremony to rededicate this memorial uh, to pay particular attention to those new names on the wall, but to all those who have served in the global war on terrorism and the families. Uh, we're, we've invited Gold Star families from across the country to attend, and we've heard from many of them that they will be here. <laughs>